YouTube, 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 what's up, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, wherever this video landed, what's up, everybody, how y'all doing out there today? Remember what I always say, if you're not doing good, just always remember, a day above ground is always a good day. Uh, let's go. The Sean Wiggins, basic stock concepts coming to you to drop that drop that knowledge drop that basic stock concepts on you I'm gonna drop basic stock concepts on you so when you watching my videos time at the time you're gonna start understanding what's what's very really, what's very really confusing to you you're gonna start understanding and and start making better trades because I know, I know, this stuff is like, it's like learning a different language. What am I looking at? All these lines. My brain. Let's go. As you can see, this is my new position in Litecoin. My average price is 85.05. I'm gonna talk about that real quick and I made a boo boo you know you're gonna always make boo boos but you gotta minimize your boo boos all right so I was talking about being patient and how you gotta be patient and uh I kind of wasn't patient because you're probably wondering why is my average price up here and not right here. Well, yo, ladies and gentlemen, I got a little impatient, which is a no no. I mean, it's cool and all, you know, it's cold. But it's gonna backfire on you later. When you get impatient and you just jump in because you wanna jump in, because you're experiencing a slight case of. You're experiencing a slight case of that. No, uh, I'm sorry, I, I put it wrong because I was thinking too fast. But you're experiencing, you're experiencing a, a small case of FOMO. And the stock market lingo, we use the word FOMO. And that's going to be fear of missing out. And why would I have fear of missing out? Well, it's because things wasn't going my way. I was waiting for it to drop, but it never dropped. Let's go back a little bit. Just click at like maybe like the 15 minute or something. So you can see this is all my, my lines I got going on. I got the lines. Always remember when you see the last line, it's going to be support. And everything I got I got some resistance lines, different resistance levels. So this is my one support line. Alright? And remember the support line is like the floor. The floor that you stand on. If you jump enough times, it might fall through the floor, but we don't you don't really jump on the floor that much, right? Because you're not supposed to really do that. Alright? So the ceiling is gonna be where you get your resistance. When you have multiple resistance lines, you know you can label them as you please. Number one, number two, right? So you know, you start making plans. If it hit this, but don't go through, and this happens, I'm gonna do this. If it hit this and this goes through, I'm gonna do this. You know, start making your plan as you go. So like I was saying, I, I got impatient. Price was staying inside this uh in this area here for a little while. And I was afraid that when I went to sleep, and this is where you put your limit orders in. Alright. I was afraid that if I went to sleep, I would miss the push. So I go ahead and I jumped in. 
jumped in a dollar cost average a couple of times but long and behold what I was waiting for what I was waiting for happened but I wasn't patient so I missed it now you guys see the difference in this price in this price Play that I was looking for, I missed it. But it's okay. Why? Because there's so many more plays to come. So many more. So you don't get emotionally wrapped up, all right? Because when you do that, it's gonna mess up your your, your future trades, all right? You don't try to play makeup. You don't gotta try to play makeup. So as we look at this right now. Still doing the same thing, which is good. Not good, but good. And I say good because I'm struggling to go down more. All right. So the one way to go. Ah, ah, ah. So yeah. So now we're just playing a whole patient game. Now we're just playing a whole patient game. I got a few few support line, I mean resistance lines going on, and I believe we're going to get it out of here, go do some cool, cool play somewhere else, we'll get the one hour chart, So basically what you see, what you see what happened, right? Let's go to the four hours so you can see it more. When it drops and it stops and it crows, it's nice. Sometimes the patterns repeat themselves. <laughs> All right, that's it for now. So now we're just gonna be on standby. Standby for the standby. Standby for the profit taking. Try and get them profits, little by little. Let's go. So, if you didn't catch what I said earlier, I let go.